Yeah, thanks for joining me you're on welcome. Football Cheers. Adania. So, yeah, you've been in Sheffield for a short while now. Um, how are you finding Sheffield and just England in general? I think uh, Sheffield is, is a nice city. Yeah. I was not used to live in, uh, in a big city like this. And there are a lot of uh, students here, I think, young people. But the city is nice. Uh, I'm most of the time here with my, with my girlfriend. And yeah, there are enough things to do in the city. I think we, we have a good time here in Sheffield uh, the last six weeks. That's good. Um, on to football. How are you finding the English style of play? And has a championship been easier or harder than you expected? Oh, that's uh, a good question. I think the, the way of playing, especially in the, in the championship, is uh, a bit harder than uh, in, the, in the Dutch league. It's, I think it's, in general, it's what I expected. It's, it's a hard, hard competition, hard league, mm. uh, but it's good for players to develop. Um, but as an outsider, since you joined in the summer, Sheffield Wednesday have been a bit of a, a roller coaster. Unfortunately, um, yes. Yeah. yeah, so what do you think now is a realistic aim for the club this season? I think we, we still have the same, uh, same aim as we had before. And of course, yeah, in this time, we are not uh, in our best uh, situation, unfortunately. But I think we have shown that we, that we can be a good team. And I still think we are a good team, but of course we have to show on the pitch. Mm. And uh, yeah, we have to become consistent, I think, as a team. That's the most important. And if we become consistent, I think we, we will go up in the, in the league. Do you think the move to Sheffield can help your chances of reaching the Dutch national team? I think yes. I think yes. It is a possibility, mm. of course, maybe in the future. but. Uh, I'm not thinking about it uh, at this moment. I'm thinking about to play for Wednesday and to become a better player here and yeah. become uh, better with the team, better performance with, uh, with the whole team uh, because we, we need, uh, need wins, we need yeah. points. So that's the most important and that's where I'm thinking about at this moment, not about the national team. No. That's interesting. Um, but what is your take on the Dutch national side at the moment? Like, Where do you think they've been going wrong in failing to reach the World Cup? Uh, that's also a hard question, but yeah. I think it's in general it's not not very good for the consistency of a, of, a, of a team if there are too many man managers in one uh, qualifi qualification round. Mm -hmm. And I think the uh, with the Dutch national squad the, the problem is also that there are uh, too much players not playing for their uh, for their team. Uh -huh. I think it's important to, to get the rhythm of the game and if you're not playing and you have to play for a national team, it's, it's hard to show your best performance, I think. Back to Heerenveen now, um, when you were at your last club, um, you played next to 17-year-old defender Kik Piri. Yes. Um, just how good is he? I think he's, he's a good player, yeah. Yeah, he's still very young and I think it's very, very impressive that he's now already playing in the, in, mm. in the first squad. So I think he has uh, has a big future mm. upcoming, but of course you have to develop every time. But for him, it's think I think the best situation. He's playing now every game. Mm. He ca he can develop, and I think he has a, has a big future. Yeah, and it seems like he's at just the right club as well to do it because you know, like you, like Kick, um, you, you you burst onto the scene as a teenager, uh, and and like most talented teenagers. Perhaps, did you, did you receive any offers from some top European clubs when you were that young? Um, no, not, not the same age as, uh, as Kik, Kik mm, Piri at this moment. Mm. But when you are playing as a young central uh, centre-back, then yeah, of course, there, and you're doing well, then there come some offers. So mm. there came some offers for me from, uh, from clubs in uh, bigger competitions in Europe than, than the Dutch league. Yeah. At the moment, but I had not the feeling that I was already ready to, to leave the country. So mm -hmm. that, that was for me the reason I stayed in. Uh, okay, so does that mean that you turned down some offers when you were younger as well? Yes, yeah. Do yeah. names? No, I, <laughs> I don't speak about, uh, about names, but in that, that situation it were, it were good teams. And of course, you, yeah, you, you like to play at the highest level, mm. but yeah, you have to be realistic, I think, yeah. if, it's, if it's a good option. And, of course, when you train with, with better players, it's also a chance mm. to develop, but mm. most important is to play matches, I okay. think. Well, 
as we were saying, um, you're one of many talents to come through the Hidden Vein uh, youth system. Um, you've played the likes of Yelamayas and Jester, yes. Akin Ziev, Dedi Sinclava. Yes. Um, do you think any of these guys, or any of your old teammates, have got the potential to play at the absolute top? That's, that's hard to say, but I think there are some players who has the potential. But I think, yeah, I played, especially I played with, with, uh, with Daly, Zenga, Hakim mm. Sieg, like, they are so, so technical. But I also played with, yeah, I don't know, he's not from, from, from the Netherlands, but with Mark Oud, he's from mm. Germany. And when I played with him, he was, in my opinion, he was fantastic, fantastic striker. And you see now he's playing for, for Hoffenheim and maybe he's still quite young. So maybe in future he will make some steps. Yeah. And I think that will, it's also a possibility with, with Sier, Sinkraaf, uh, Sint just uh, they play now in the top in uh, in the Netherlands, and when they show their abilities every game, I think there's a chance they become very good players. Finally, I've picked some questions that were sent in from Football Dania and the Wednesday Week uh, Twitter followers. Here's the first one: um, What is the dressing room like at Sheffield Wednesday, and who have you formed friendships with? I sit next to next to our uh, captain Glenn mm -hmm. Lovens. Yeah, of course, because he's he's a Dutch guy. It was in the beginning most easy to to become in contact with him. Yeah. But I have also other contacts now at the, at the moment. And but in general, I think all the players in our team are re really nice guys. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Glenn, did he help help you settle in? Yes, he did. He did really well. He showed me the the city. Uh, he helped me with all the questions I had. Uh, but he's of course he has a lot of experience in the pit, in the field or and uh, outside the field. Mm. So uh, yeah, he helped me a lot, really. Cool. Who is your football hero? <laughs> Good question. No, it's not like a, a hero, but I like I like to uh, watch to uh, Sergio Ramos from mm. Real Madrid, mm -hmm. and I like to watch uh, Vertonghen from. Mm. Uh, Tottenham Hotspurs, but it's not like a real hero, mm. but uh, it's not like I uh, had pictures of them on my uh, on my wall when I was young. But I still I like the way they play and I like the way to watch it and to learn from it. Cool. Uh, would you consider a defensive midfield role? Because your distribution will make you great in that position. Now I know that you used to play there as a 15, 16 year old. Yeah. Um, would you consider going back to it? Uh, I think it would be hard to play at that position again mm -hmm. because I, uh, at the moment now I played six or seven years not on that position and of course in that position you, you need to do other things. And lastly, um, are you missing the bitter baller? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know if you tried them before. You, yeah, they are really nice <laughs> but they are not so healthy. So <laughs> it's not good to take every day, but <laughs> if there's a uh, there's a moment, I really miss them. Yeah. 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 Is the pub perhaps one of the biggest things you miss about the country? No, no, for sure not. For sure, I miss my family the most. Yeah. And yeah, we we have some more things, but not especially the the bit of <laughs> <laughs> No. Well, no. Yes. Yeah, um, thanks for time to speak to us. You're welcome. Cool. That was really good. Thank you.